Hey everyone, I've used PCG to generate a large forest. The trees are all placed based on a landscape auto material, and if you look in the distance, there is a large path cut out of it. But that's not the interesting part. If you look now, the trees have started respawning in the path, and that's because I just cut the path through it, and I've set up the trees to respawn in random locations after they've been removed. The current setup is to respawn trees once every second over a period of 60 seconds, but you can configure that. For instance, if you were setting this up for an open world survival game, you might want it to respawn once every 15 minutes over the course of an hour or two. Performance on this thing is pretty good. I've taken a lot of steps to optimize it. The main one being that the trees, their, oop, <laughs> their PCGs, their instant static meshes, are all split up into multiple groups. In this case, it's about 900 trees each. To keep everything loading fast, I've got collision disabled on trees that are far away from me, which is most of them, and I only enable collision once I get close to the trees. And as you can see, if I'm running around in it, I get 50 FPS. It actually goes up when I start destroying trees because uh, the main FPS tanker for me right now is just these trees and their movement. All right, I will dive right into this and show you how I did it in the next video. Until then.